Thank you for the commenter who corrected me on my last video that I deleted. I uh, had one piece of information in it that was not correct. So unfortunately, when I deleted the video, I deleted your comment, so I can't give credit to you. But again, thank you. Um, sometimes when you come to a rooftop unit, you shut the power off, you pull the panels off, you turn the power back on, everything works. One of the main causes is your compressor lockout board, your CLO board right here. This wire right here is for my compressor. It's my line or my load voltage going to my compressor off of the contactor. This here is a current sensing ring. It, for ease of understanding, it's just basically like an amp clamp on your meter. It, it reads amp draw. You have power coming into the board on this gray wire here, which is number two. The relay inside this board is normally closed, so if there's no issues, it should continue on through this black wire here on number three. And then that will travel through on this particular unit through the pressure switches and then back to the contactor. So in this video, we have the wiring diagram because I had to replace the, the, the old board it was stuck open no matter what I would do so on this uh, unit here my wire my incoming 24 volts going to the board when there's a call for cooling is gray um, the X terminal is just an indicator like you could wire in an indicator light or a fault for a thermostat on X which is white uh, your common terminal for your 24 volts is brown and on this unit as it travels from your Y terminal into 2 normally closed to 3 it comes back out black and then again travels through my pressure switches to my contactor for the compressor. This ring here is your current sensing loop. If the compressor starts up you have 3 seconds for this to at least see a minimum of 2.5 amps. Uh, once that is done, then this will stay open. Once it may, if it maintains 0 0.5 amps. If your logic board does not see 0 0.5 amps or more after three seconds, then this will open, locking out your compressor. So again, you got your white wire here going to, on this particular one, X, which is going to nothing. Uh, most, not most, all carriers that I work on anyways don't use this, so I could remove it. You have your wire, your black wire for your pressure switches, your gray wires, your incoming 24 volts, and then your brown wire here, which is your common. So again, if you shut the power off, and turn the power back on and everything starts working, this is probably why. You reset the board. De-energizing the board is the only way you can reset this board. So de-energizing it and re-energizing it, it'll start working.